This is the ECE 401 project for Jeff Godfrey and Abdullah Al Muslami. Um, we chose the H bridge, uh, but we thought that was kind of boring. So instead, we went ahead and we threw in a uh, DC motor. We've got a um, double pole, double throw toggle switch here to control the direction of the current through the H bridge, uh, which, which powers this um, six volt DC motor here. Uh, we also have a, a potentiometer here and a microcontroller that we're using to uh, control the speed of the motor. Um, now, initially, we had wanted a 5-volt voltage regulator and a 6-volt voltage regulator, uh, since this is a 6-volt DC motor. However, we came across uh, serious spatial violations, and so instead we decided just to go with the 5-volt, and we just won't be able to uh, run the, the motor at full power. Um, so what we do here is the potentiometer comes in um, and we have a, a program installed on the pick that will give us uh, a convert our analog value uh, to a value between 0 and 1023 and then it will use uh, uh, we'll use that to modify the duty cycle of the output square wave and uh, that in turn will actually uh, the average of the voltage across that square wave will uh, control the speed of the motor. Um, so, like I said, we had some serious uh, spatial considerations here. Originally, we had decided to use a MUX to uh, control the direction of the current through the H bridge. Um, the MUX was huge. Uh, to find any, to find an array of four two by one MUXs uh, for through whole component is that they did not have any available. Uh, they were all like eight eight uh, two by one MUX arrays. So we went ahead and switched that out with the uh, double pull, double throw uh, toggle switch here. And we went ahead and we also vertically mounted all of our uh, resistors and our diodes. And that saved us a lot of room. Um, we originally had TIP 112 and 117 uh, NPN and PNP transistors. We went ahead and switched those out for much smaller ones. However, we also had a bill of materials um, with these beautiful components that were perfect to fit on the board. Um, and we were under the impression that they were going to be ordered to create this. Uh, however, we actually had to construct this using components that were given to us in an electronics kit at the beginning of the semester. So, you know, even so, uh, we, got, we got a layout here where it all fits on a 2x2 two two board. Um, the, the toggle switch again, we had to work with parts that were on hand um, So it had to be soldered in with wires here and isn't isn't the perfect match, but uh, It it works <laughs> uh, We also have an encoder here, um, which we did not use for this project. And that's just for fun later um, So you can see we do get uh, We have a 9 volt battery here and and the power uh, a light indicator for power So it is getting power um, the 9 volts doesn't go to any component on the board. It actually first goes through this 5-volt uh, voltage regulator, and that's what feeds everything in the, on the board here. Um, what we would need to do next is we would actually need to uh, construct that program uh, for the PIC. So what we've got here is we've got a header where we would connect this PIC kit 3. Um, and we would connect this to our laptop and using MP lab, we would construct the program, uh, to control the value of that pulse width modulation, uh, by altering the value of the duty cycle of the output square wave. And that is our project.